Hey, what up, everybody? Shocker Drone 911 here, and it's a pickups video right here. And I, and I know it's been a long, long time since I did one of these right here. I think it's been like about uh, close to five months since I did one of these. And I first started on YouTube with uh, gaming videos and all that, or at least showing off my collection, I should say, right there. But I finally got another whole set of games right here. I got about 13 games, I believe, right here, and two consoles right here. So let me just get started with this one right here, and it is the Super Nintendo, the slim version right here. I got this for five bucks, which I was very surprised right here. Usually this thing goes like about, I've seen it for 45 to even like around $80, which is quite expensive right there for, for my price range. But I got this for five bucks. It did not come with the AV cables, nor did it come with the, uh, the controllers. But it did come with the AC adapter, which was a uh, big surprise. It was sold, uh, some old man had this. He said, I was just looking at it. I was like, acting like I didn't know nothing about it or anything like that. I was like, well, what's this right here? I'll sell it to you for five bucks. Okay, mine. <laughs> but, yeah, I got this for five bucks. Like I said, it didn't come with the AV cables nor the controls, but it did come with the AC adapter. And I am glad to have this. But I am very curious of why they made a slimmer version for the SNES. Uh, I know for the NES one, the top loader, uh, top loader one, it was uh, a better version than the regular Nintendo one due to the fact because of the pin problems and all that. And the top loader one really pretty much uh, solved the problem on that, made the games a lot more easier. Like you know, just put it in there and there it goes. This I don't know why they made another one, another version of the SNES. Is it because it, well, it's smaller, yeah, but is it also because it doesn't have that? yellow corrosion that usually happens with the other SNES uh, consoles it, it boggles my mind a little bit but I am thankful for having one of these so <laughs> five bucks can't beat it another console that I got I got also for uh, five bucks this was at a rummy sale it is the Atari flashback to I had to look at the name I forgot what the name of it was but it has 40 games built inside of it it did come with the two controllers right here, so you got the traditional controllers. And yes, it also, the Sega Genesis controllers actually work on this right here, so that's uh, pretty interesting right there. But you can tell right here it's got the power switch, it uh, reset button right here, the select button for which games you want to play, uh, and also the difficulty, uh, the left one I believe being the easiest and the right one being a little bit more of a challenge for the gamer but five bucks you can't be that and also this is uh, this uh, right here it, <laughs> it has a color part where you can switch it or a black and white I'm not sure what the hell that's all about right there I'm, I have not really played around with this damn thing I had it for like about a month or two I just played with it for like about 20 minutes of it it did give me a a smile by playing this since uh, the Atari 2600 was the very first uh, console I ever played and the very first game I ever played uh, in my childhood was actually E.T. so I am um, uh, a lot of people really hate that game I gotta play that game again I gotta get another I gotta get a t Atari 2600 and get a version of E.T. Uh, memories I tell you what damn <laughs> I can't believe Atari 2600 was the very first console I ever played. Usually for everybody else, it seems like on YouTube, it was. it's always the NES. But I also have the box in it. The guy that had this right here, it looks very new. I didn't have to clean up, uh, clean anything up or anything like that. It looks really new. He said he only played it for like a day or so. But the box itself, torn to shreds. It seems like they had more fun with the box than they did with the actual console itself. But the uh, console has Asteroids, Pitfall, Centipede, uh, Yards, Revenge. It's a little bit torn up. I can't really read it. Uh, Maze Craze, Adventures, Lunar Lander, Missile Command, Outlaws, Combat, and uh, Pong. Pong. I don't know why it has Pong in there. But I was hoping it would have at least uh, Oh God, Space Invaders, I would assume. It feels like the camera's a little bit off on me. But it doesn't have uh, Space Invaders, but it has also other 
games, and there's 40 games built into this system right here. And I think they also made another version of this, the Atari Flashback 3, but I'm not 100% sure, but five bucks, fuck. I gotta play this uh, thing again. It's, I, I, can't, I can't believe I have not really been playing that system at all since the Atari 2600 was the very first system I ever played and actually owned one a long time ago, but it died out on me. Now for NES games. First game I got, I gotta get rid of, I gotta start off with the bad ones. It is The Adventures of Bio Billy. And I am not a fan of this game right here. I got this game for two bucks and it's going for 87 cents right here. I am not a fan of this game. Uh, I think there's three games that are actually built in this. Like there's a car racing one, you gotta uh, drive around. There's also the side, basic side scroller to, you know, to the right and all that, which is so fucking hard. Same thing with the car one. Oh my god, I cannot get through that stage right there without constantly dying, and I can't get past that part of the stage. There's also a uh, light gun mode in here, which I believe you gotta have uh, the light gun to uh, play this game right here, so I don't have the light gun, so I can't beat it or anything like that, but my god, is this game ruthless right here. I do not, I do, I like challenging games. But this game just takes it to another low right here. Adventures of Bio Billy, I really am not a fan of it. I think it was also the craze of the Crocodile Dundee phase that was going on. Another game I got that not a lot of people really like, it is Dick Twacy. I got this game for two bucks and the game's going for one dollar. But to me, I gotta say this game is a mediocre game. The game was fun until you got up to the <coughs> fourth case then it becomes very cryptic and very very challenging right there once you get to the third case it starts to get a little bit more cryptic and all that but once the fourth case comes in oh my god it is a hassle and a half and i know a lot of people really can't stand this game due to the fact of the snipers on the roof usually what i do is uh as soon as i see the snipers i get the hell out of my car and immediately take them out do not drive past it. It's most likely you're going to take a hit. As soon as you see them, get the hell out and shoot them. You got a limited animal in the driving part, but once you get to the side-scrolling part, it becomes, uh, well, the animal's kind of hard to find. The same thing with health power-ups, so they kind of get a little bit stingy on this game right here with those two things right there, but I gotta say Dick Tracy is a, it's a mediocre game to me. I beat the game, too. Yes, I beat Dick Twacy. I did not find it that bad until you got up to the fourth case. Uh, next game I got, it is 3D World Runner. I got this game for four bucks, and uh, the game only goes for a buck eighty right now. It does have the uh, 3D element if you press select. You got it's, it's, it's really ugly as hell too to look at. You got to have the uh, blue and the uh, I believe red glasses to get that really shitty effect, but. It's basically a uh, a vertical runner. You're just running through the whole entire stage, jumping through pit uh, pit holes or pitfalls or whatever holes in the ground, and uh, shooting this fucking dragon or whatever later on. It seems like there's a boss of that every time at the end of the stage. But I really didn't really play this game that much. I only got up to the uh, third level, and that was it. I was kind of like done. It was kind of boring the hell out of me a little bit, and. Uh, the power-ups that you get in this game is actually one of them that kills you is a mushroom, so uh, the whole mushroom thing of Super Mario Brothers, do not fucking touch the mushroom. It will kill you. But the power-ups that you do get is like some type of, I don't know, jelly or some shit that gives you a, like a second chance to get or two hit points that you can take, and there's a rocket thing that you can shoot at enemies and all that. But... I only played like about 20 minutes of the game and only got up to the third level and it's just all right to me. Next game I got, but this game is a pick-me-up definitely, it is Super Mario World 2 aka Doki Doki Panic. I got this game for two bucks and the game's going for seven dollars and 21 cents. I love this game right here. I also got the one for the <clears throat> Super Nintendo, which is the uh, All Stars one, you know, with a Mario, uh, Super Mario one, two, or this one right here, two, three, and uh, the Lost Levels. I don't got the one where it has the uh, for the uh, Super NES one, 
the one that I actually prefer the most. Uh, but this one is I, I I still enjoy this game. I really like it right here. I still like the uh, Super NES version one a little bit more. Not uh, graphics, I guess. <laughs> But, like I said, I got this game for 2 bucks, and the game's going for $7.21. And I wish uh, Nintendo would bring back Wart. I want Wart back in these games somehow, like with a team-up with Bowser or some shit like that. I want Wart back. I also want Mauser back and the other enemies. They, they, bring, they, they bring back Shy Guys, but never the other enemies like Wart or the Phantom. or They, they also bring back the, uh, the gendered, confused Birdo. Which uh, is uh, different. They, they, they switch the name around. Birdo is some other type of enemy in the game. And it's called Astos. The bird that shoots out eggs. Which is Birdo. They switch the names around. But <laughs> anyway, to me, the game's a kick me up. I love that game. Uh, next game I got. And this one's from a rummy cell. It is Odd World Apes Exodus. I got this game for $1.00. And the game is going for $4.47. I have no idea anything about this game right here. I never played, I think this is a sequel to another Odd World game. But thankfully, in the Rummy Cell, oh, the damn, the disc came out too. Hopefully, it's not scratched. Eh, nope. It's fairly decent in the Rummy Cell I got it from. Usually, in Rummy Cells, it's kind of, you know, fucked up. But it also comes with. Surprisingly, the manual. Seems like the person that owned this game really didn't play that much of the game. Probably didn't like it or anything like that. I don't know nothing really about Odd World or anything like that. I just picked it up for a dollar. I'm like, hey, what the hell? It's cheap as hell. Next game I got, it is Fear Effect. Same rummy sale, same price, a dollar I got it for, and the game's going for $3.21. Unfortunately, this time, no manual whatsoever but it does come with all four cds however all four cds i'm not sure if you can tell are pretty scratched uh pretty big t uh pretty bad never played this game hopefully it works and hopefully it is fun as hell <coughs> next game i got and i've been wanting to play this game right here uh it is alone in the dark the new nightmare I got this game for four bucks, and the game is going for five dollars and twenty-seven cents. Thankfully, it comes with a manual, and the game is hardly scratched. Thankfully, so most likely this game will work. I'm hoping. <laughs> I heard a lot of good things about this game. I never played the original uh, Alone in the Dark. I'm not sure it was based on a. I think it was based on PC. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I think it was a game from back in 1992 when the first Alone in the Dark came out. I'm not 100% sure about that one. But after the whole, I think the whole craze of Resident Evil, then they came back with another Alone in the Dark thing, uh, game, which is this one right here. I heard a lot of great things about it. I played it a long, long time ago. I know my buddy, um, <coughs> he has the PC version of this game. He says it's really good. I am going to be playing this game very, very soon. <sighs> Next game I got, a game I've been looking for, uh, not looking for, but wanting to get. It is a point, I believe a point and click adventure, and it is Mist. I got this game for five bucks, and the game is going for $9.45. I see this game and Game Traders Media, Replay, and Game On, which are three retro games, uh, game stores in Michigan that I usually go to. But thankfully, the game is in a little bit scratched up, but not really that bad. And it does, of course, come with the manual, as you can tell. <coughs> I got this uh, game at a flea market, which, man, this person sell games really really expensive uh, she was selling games that are really fucking up uh, like triple the amount of what it's actually worth I've seen her try to sell Mario Super Mario World for the NES for uh, I believe 
eighteen dollars, or it might be fifteen to eighteen dollars. She was trying to sell that shit for, and she was also trying to sell. Um, oh God. Um, oh shit. Devil May Cry three for the PS two. Um, oh, oh, it was Super Mario. Oh, yeah, it was that one. Uh, she was trying to sell us um, a Devil May Cry three. That game that goes for like about two or three bucks to the most. For like about seven, no, 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 for about 12 to I believe $14. Like, oh my god, are you serious? I usually check my uh, game prices at gamecharting.com. Usually it gives out the average of what it is. It usually goes for Amazon, eBay, JJ Games, and at times uh, GameStop, which I don't ever go to anymore. Don't like GameStop since they really they put stickers on every goddamn thing, and the games are really in bad condition. I'm like, I don't do business with them at all anymore. Uh, next game I got, it is actually a trilogy. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2, uh, Cortex Strikes Back. And Crash uh, Warped, which is uh, Crash Bandicoot 3. I got Crash Bandicoot for four dollars, and the game's worth twelve bucks. I got Crash Bandicoot two for five bucks, and it's actually worth six bucks. And I got Crash Bandicoot three slash uh, Warped, which is four dollars, and the game's going for four dollars and ninety four cents. I really love these two right here, the very first one, and the second one right here. The third one I find it's it's pretty good, but it's not one of my you know. It started going downhill a little bit, and the ones for the PS2, I think it was Crash Bandicoot, uh, Cortex, uh, God, Revenge of Cortex, it was something, it was uh, for the PS2, the very first one that came out for the PS2 for Crash Bandicoot, I was not really a fan of that one, but these two right here, the first one and the second one, I really, really do enjoy, it's been a while since i played these two, it's been, oh God, several years. And I think that's it for that. And now the games that I have been wanting to play in one game, I got to finish up right here. Uh, the very uh, the next game I got right here, it is for the PS One. It is Parasite Eve. I got this game for a dollar, and the game's going for eight dollars and forty seven cents. I have not played this game in years, and it's kind of in bad condition with the case. It's really cracked up. And again, no manual, but it does come with all three discs. However, the discs are kind of scratched up, so I'm hoping to God this game works. A little bit of history on this game for me. Uh, I was really big on the crave, uh, craze of the Resident Evil, the very first one, definitely the second one, which is my favorite one right here. Then I see Parasite Eve, and it looked to be like a hell of a lot like Resident Evil, but I was kind of disappointed because then it, it was like mixed in with the RPG. Now, I'm not saying I don't hate the RPGs. I actually do like RPGs. In fact, the next game I got right here is an RPG, but I wasn't really wanting to play an RPG. I was more in the craze of the survival horror like uh, Resident Evil, and this game kind of disappointed me back in the day. But I've heard a lot of good things about this game, and I'm willing to give it another shot right here. Parasite Eve, got to try it out again. Next game I got, which I was surprised to find in a flea market, really cheap, <coughs> especially of how high the price of the game is going. Now, it seems like it's, it's constantly going up. It is Breath of Fire 2. I got this game for three dollars, and the game value of it right now is uh, thirty-four bucks right here. Right now, I got like about I gotta say like about twenty to twenty-three hours in the game, and I'm loving it really uh, a lot. It's made by Capcom, and I just I really like this game. I like this turn-based RPG right here. Oh God, I'm not sure if I'm halfway done with this game. Right now, I'm really grinding, grinding, grinding. It does become very repetitive with me with uh, RPGs on that right there. But later on, I do kind of enjoy what types of abilities I, I'll be able to learn right here. Like, my favorite character is Nina. And, uh, uh, God, what the hell is the other one? Nina and... 
Oh my god. I think his name's Ryu. The main character of this game right here, which you can also switch the names of. The other ones you cannot switch. And uh, Stem, which uh, I'm not really big on Stem with his average form. But once you get the shamans, he becomes a... I've got to say, he looks like to be a fucking badass right here. I think with uh, mixed in with the fire element. And I believe the wind element becomes like this fire looking creature like it's really fucking badass of how he looks right there but my, like i said my favorite character is nina since she's like the mage of it all i like her power-ups and all that there's also a couple more mages in there but i am really digging this rpg right here the breath of fire one here i heard that breath of fire one is actually better than uh, breath of fire 2 i cannot find breath of fire one and i would assume that the uh first one is expensive a little bit more expensive but i gotta find that one right here i heard that the dragons that you get in the very first one are actually better than the breath of fire 2 right here since i don't know if they because in this one right here if it doesn't matter how much magic you got you can have like one percent of magic left or let's say 50 percent or whatever percent if you use a dragon, it will suck it all out and you're out of magic right here. That kind of sucks right there in the game. But there's also kind of a bit of a spelling here. So now I'm not saying I'm a, <laughs> one of those grammar people that know everything. I got I to gotta correct everybody on that. Like, no, I make fucking mistakes too. I'm big time. Even I mispronounce things too. I'm not one of those Nazi types of fuckers. But I've seen a lot of spelling, uh, spelling errors. And uh, there's also some problems with, uh, like, if uh, someone wants to go to your village, sometimes it's not highlighted. Like, either, I want to go to this village, you can either say yes or no. However, it's not highlighted. One of them, uh, none of them will be highlighted, which one you can choose. So you got to pretty much play, a, like, a little bit of a guessing game. There's a bit of a problem with that. And also with the part with the shaman, where this old lady says, would you like me to teach you how to use these shamans? I say yes. Like, she's like, all right. Let's get started with the shamaning uh, thing right now. And you're off to uh, using the magic. No, I want to know how this works. It's like a little bit of confusion right there. A little bit of a problem with the uh, game right on uh, that part right here. But other than that, I'm really digging this RPG. Now, I think basically with the story, I'm, I really have not gotten really that much through through it. Because I'm pretty much grinding a lot. But uh, a monster, I think, has wiped out everybody's uh, memory. And the other one that can reckon, uh, that knows what's going on is the uh, main character. And he's trying to find this demon that has done this to these people. And it seems like a lot of people, like with greed or power, are becoming these big powerhouse demons you got to slay. But, yeah, Breath of Fire, too. I am, like I said, I'm digging it. Got the game for three to, uh, $3, which you cannot beat. And the game is worth 34 bucks. And it seems like the price of that is not going down well that's it you guys uh thanks for watching and of course i shall never quit gaming